Hello, my name is Donette Douglas. I'm the station manager here at WTJR Channel 16 in Quincy, Illinois. This program, Behind the Scenes, we're taping right here in the production studio at 222 North 6th Street. And I'm so glad to be back with you this week. I was uh, traveling to Tampa, Florida, uh, where we had meetings with uh, Mr. Bob DeAndrea, who is the president founder of CTN, Christian Television Network, and all of the managers come together from the 17 affiliates. And we have uh, meetings, and it was just so good to be together and to hear the other stations sharing what God's been doing through the work there at, their st at the stations they manage. And just to be with uh, Mr. DeAndrea, it was just such a blessing to encourage one another and have that fellowship time. Amen. So today, let's get into the pictures. We've got a lot of pictures because this is for two weeks. And on Friday evening, uh, before I went to the manager's meeting, we had the pastor appreciation dinner. And I just want to show you some of the pictures. And these are some of the pastors that attended. And of course, this is Jim and Penny Wilson. Jim is the engineer here at WTJR. And Penny volunteers and helps in many areas with the newsletter and, and the audio, production, cameras. She's just real good at helping anywhere you need help, and I appreciate that. This is Michael Sisk. He's a volunteer camera operator here. Uh, he also does a lot of decorating. He decorated the Christmas tree there, uh, getting ready for the shoebox ministry. And uh, this is Phyllis Metzger, and uh, her and Michael came and helped serve uh, coffee uh, refreshments to the um, pastors, and we appreciate uh, them and their help. This is Jerry and Julie Jenkins with Addictions, Addiction Free in Christ from right here in Quincy, Illinois. And then next we have uh, another picture there of Jerry and Julie. And we have Michael and uh, Jackie Schaefer and they have Greater Works Ministry here in Quincy, Illinois. This is Bob and Pat Cook from House of Prayer in Kinderhook, Illinois. This is Pastor James Haley and his wife Lois from Bethel AME Church here in Quincy. This is Chris and Heather Hensley, and they are from the First Baptist Church in Ewing, Missouri. First time they got to come. This is Stephen and Julie Bounds, and they pastor at the First Southern Baptist Church in Rushville, Illinois. And of course, we have Gary Wallace and his wife Paula, and they pastor at River of Life Church here in Quincy. And we have Rick and Viola Beal, and they are with Jill Ministry for Jesus from Macomb, Illinois. We have John and Bonnie Furness, and John hosts the Simple Truth program right here on WTJR. This is Pastor Sharon Davis and her husband Terry, and they uh, she pastors, our assistant pastor at um, Glory Worship Center in Clayton, Illinois. Then we had um, Aaron and Lisa Ferguson. They're pastors at Pontusi Community Church in Pontusi, Illinois. And then we have Brother Ben. This, I cannot even pronounce his last name from Jacksonville, Illinois. Works with the prison ministry there and it was his first year to come. Then we had Pastor Lindy and Rita Sloan with Crossroad Church here in Quincy, Illinois. Paul and Melissa Lamb, and they are um, with New Beginnings Church, but Paul is also the um, principal at the uh, Christian, uh, Christian School here in Quincy. Then we have pastors Jerry and Patsy Spratt from the Augusta Assembly of God Church in Augusta. We have Mark and Marcia Norton uh, from St. Louis, Missouri and they have ministry work, they evangelize together, amen. And then we have Donna Stansberry, and you've seen her here on Outreach Connection. She works with uh, Sun Valley Youth Ranch and her husband, um, Larry. And then we have, past, or I should say Dr. Uh, Orville Jones and his wife, uh, uh, Lena, and they're with the uh, First Baptist Church here in Quincy, Illinois. And this is Tom and Kathy Raines pastoring at First Southern Baptist Church here in Quincy. 
And this is Pastor El Mashi, and he was our guest speaker. And he is with Cry for the Persecuted Church, and he spoke that evening to the pastors and their wives. That's just a picture for me uh, greeting the pastors. We had 49 in attendance, and we served them a chicken, fried chicken meal. What do you serve a pastor but a fried chicken meal, huh? And uh, oh, we also had uh, Lyndall Shoemade. He is representative for the 5th District in uh, Hannibal, Missouri, and his wife Lydia. And Duke Duvall, who hosts Conquering uh, Your Giants right here on WTGR, and his mother Bootsy were here passing through. They were able to come by as they were going to Iowa to minister for the weekend. So it was a good surprise. Amen. This is Pastor Greg Wilhelm, pastor of Calvary uh, Tabernacle here in Quincy, Illinois. And he was here for the first time to uh, bring a message on Pastor Speaks. And this is Patty. She uh, helps Pastor Paul Smith on lightning strikes. And they were here to tape some programs last week. And this is Praise 16 last Friday. I appreciate everybody stepping up. Uh, Jim came into production and uh, while I was gone. And uh, of course, Perry, um, <clears throat> Pastor Gary Wallace MCs, And uh, his guests uh, that week were Chuck Hetzler, pastor of First Union Congregational Church, and Raymond Stedman. And he is a great prayer warrior on a prayer team, the Acts Prayer Group. And That's that, the last picture. That just, you. Okay, thank you. Last picture. So, a lot of pictures there to catch up with, but you know, it's a busy place, but praise God, you know, we're working together till Jesus returns. Amen. Amen. Okay, well, I just want to remind you, October, I know it's about gone, the month's about gone, but this is Pastor Appreciation Month. Maybe you haven't let your pastor know yet how much you appreciate him, so I just want to remind you to say thank you to your pastor and um, his wife. And uh, this scripture is one I want to share for the month from Jeremiah. And it says, And I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Jeremiah 3.15. So I still want to encourage you, even though the month's about over, to continue to pray for your pastor and his family. Amen. Amen. Soul Winning Training, right here at WTGR Studio, on Fridays at 1 p.m. If you come, we'll pray with you. We'll train, train you using the Soul Winning script, and we'll go out on the street. And I was very blessed this last week when I was in Tampa. I stayed over and went to the river uh, because they were having the minister's conference Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I went to morning and evening services and uh, excited about what God's doing here as we go out on the street. So if you want to join us, like I said, just give us a call here at the number on the screen. Join us for prayer on Mondays from 1 to 2 p.m. We have prayer right in here the studio, 222 North 6th Street. Come and join us. We'd love to have you stand in faith, believing that God hears and answers prayer. Amen. And if you need prayer, you can always call the station here, or you can email your prayer request to pray16 at wtjr.org. When you call in, Karen will be more than honored to pray with you, to share some scripture, and encourage you in the Lord. Amen? Amen. Also, I want to remind you right here on WTJR, we have a program that airs Monday through Friday, 1130 p.m. to 230 a.m. the next morning, call you and me. And it's Pastor Jeff, and he will share scripture and pray for your requests. So. If you can't sleep or not feeling well, that's a good thing to tune into. It will encourage you. Amen. Also, I want to remind you of our program, Pray 16, live on Fridays from 11 a.m. to 12 noon. You can call in your prayer requests. We'll pray for them on this on this show. And then we do repeat that show on Monday evenings at 9 p.m. Even though it's not live on Monday evening, we still have operators here that will pray with you and take your prayer request so uh, I just want to encourage you to tell people about Pray 16 Amen Mexico 2016 shoebox ministry drop off your shoeboxes here at 222 North 6th Street by Wednesday November the 30th 
Now this ministry, our outreach is in memory of Roger Ham and Wild Olive Branch Ministries. And here's kind of some suggestions of some things you can put in your shoebox. If you would like a list, you can give us a call, drop by the studio and uh, just get you a shoebox and you can get a plastic one. Um, or you can get a, or just a regular cardboard shoebox and start putting the items in it, okay? They love the bars of soap and the washcloths. I know that's hard to believe, but they do. Now you want to be sure and mark on the box if it's for a boy or a girl and the ages. And you want to wrap your box, and I, and I showed you a week or two ago about how you wrap the lid separate from the bottom because they do open the boxes a lot of times at the border, okay? And also, again, to remind you to drop them off by Wednesday, November the 30th. Coming up also is Celebrate Jesus. That's our Christmas dinner and concert. And that will be at the Holiday Inn, 4821 Oak Street here in Quincy, on Monday, December the 5th. The meal starts at 6 p.m. The doors open at 5 and we will have a concert at 7 p.m. with the Chosen Ones from Winchester, Illinois and the Lesters from St. Louis, Missouri. And the tickets are $25 donation per person. You can get them right here at the studio or give us a call. Karen will tell you how we can mail them to you. I want to tell you about spatial programming coming up in this next week. We have a show, Contending for the Faith, and it was produced by one of the CTN affiliate stations from Fort Myers. It did an interview with Dr. Ben and Candy Carson. That show will be uh, aired on Thursday, November 3rd at 10 p.m. and Saturday, November the 5th at 5 p.m. And then we also have another Contending for the Faith program, special programming next week. Uh, Bob and Jane DeAndrea, and he's the founder and president of, of CTN, interviewed Donald Trump this, just a few days ago. And that program will air on Tuesday, November 1st at 7.30 p.m. and Saturday, November the 5th at 7.30 p.m. And if you want, can't remember those dates, didn't get wrote down, just call the station. We can tell you when they air. We're still collecting the postage stamps, the aluminum pop tabs. Again, you can either drop them off or put them in the mail here to 222 North 6th Street in Quincy. Coming up this next week on A Woman's Joy, I will be hosting a Joy in the Word program. And those are Bible trivia programs. This one is called I Believe. That will air on Tuesday at 9.30 a.m., Friday at 9 p.m. Coming up on Outreach Connection this next week is the second part with Dr. Leon Van Ruen. He's with Global Ministries International and Relief. Incorporated, and this will air on Monday, October 31st at 9.30 a.m., Wednesday, November 2nd at 9 p.m., Saturday, November 5th at 7 p.m., and of course the host of Outreach Connection is Gary Schluckavir. Coming up on Pastor Speaks is Pastor Dick Stewart from here in Quincy, Illinois, and he um, ministers at the First Baptist Church in Clayton, Illinois, and he brought a message, Deceived. And that will air on Sunday, October 30th at 2 p.m., Tuesday, November 1st at 1.30 p.m., and Wednesday, November 2nd at 7.30 p.m. Coming up on the movie right here on WTGR is Esther and the King. And that will air on Saturday, November the 5th, and Sunday, November the 6th. Now on Saturday evening, it's at 8 p.m., on Sunday evening, it's at 11.30 p.m. And uh, this is a wonderful movie, and I hope I get to watch this one again uh, because I really enjoyed it the first time. I love the story of Esther. She was a woman born for this time. Amen, amen. So let's watch a promo of that program, or movie, I should say, right now. Across the desert, I would swim across the sea. I would fight a thousand armies if that's what God asked of me. I would climb the highest mountain with my life, I'd gladly pay. But am I willing just to live from day to day? What would I? 
Looks like a good movie, doesn't it? That's Esther and the King, which will air on Saturday, November the 5th at 8 p.m. and Sunday, November the 6th at 11.30 p.m. right here on WTJR. Well, I've got time. i got just a few little cards here I want to read to you. Uh, this one says, God bless. Keep up the good work from Quincy, Illinois. I really appreciate those that take a moment to uh, jot us a note. When they send their donations, I, I really enjoy it. It encourages us. It really does. And someone sent me this scripture. Give me wisdom and knowledge that I may lead this people. For who is able to govern this great people of yours? From Second Chronicles 1.10. That was from Hamilton, Illinois. Thank you very much. Knox City, Missouri. Dear Donette and staff, greetings in, Je in Jesus' name. I am sending $25 for the sole purpose week. I thought uh, they had a good sermon every night. God bless you. And thank you so very much for taking time to write that note. Amen. Then I got a beautiful card, a special note of thanks. A simple act of kindness is a beauty all its own. Thank you so much for your thoughtfulness. God bless you for the outstanding pastor's dinner and music and special speaker pastor. Your ministry is anointed and they are so blessed by ministry right here at WTJR. And I thank you. And that's, you know, we want the pastors to know that we appreciate them and what? We're working together till Jesus returns. So we're going to go to our bridge right now, which is a spot that will give you information. And this one is called My Faith votes and I want you to really listen and pay attention to what um, I believe this is David Jeremiah is saying to you. You know uh, sometimes I think that uh, our standards are so high for who we want to get elected that if we don't make those standards we think we've uh, we've lost. I'm not really sure I can get somebody who's like me. I'm not even sure I can get somebody who's for me but I'm pretty sure I can get somebody who's not against me. We have to get to the polls and get somebody who won't be against us. Make the pledge to vote. Visit MyFaithVotes.com. So I would like to encourage you to pray for America. Last election for president here in the United States, 38 million professing Christians did not vote and 12 million Christians were not even registered to vote. Please pray and vote. Your vote does make a difference. Pray and vote. 
Our scripture we're going to use for today, very familiar scripture from 2 Chronicles 7, 14. We've been thanking God for prayer. Prayer is a privilege that we have. The Bible says we can boldly come to the throne of God. So today, as we share the scripture, think about your prayer life and how important it is. 2 Chronicles 7, 14. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. And I don't know about you, but my land, America, needs healed. And God has showed us in his holy word for how that can come about. And I just want to talk about this scripture a little bit. If my people, if, boy, I know it's only two letters, but it's a big word. Because see, that puts it in you and my, we're our lap. <laughs> we have to make that decision. Only we can make that decision. If my people who are called by my name, those are believers that have called upon the name of Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. So he's talking to us in this verse. Humble. First thing he said is humble yourselves. Humble means having or showing a modest or low estimate of one's own importance. Showing a modest or low estimate of one's own importance. James 4.10, this is what the Bible says, a scripture using the word humble. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up. In the Beatitudes, when Jesus was talking on the Sermon on the Mount, blessed are the meek, blessed are the poor in spirit. We have to humble ourselves. What does that mean? We have to admit, I can do nothing. God, I've tried to do all this on my own. I can't do it. But God, I know with you, all things are possible. It's acknowledging that God is almighty, all-powerful, all-knowing. He is the great I am, the beginning and the end, the creator. And yet, he's our heavenly father. The next word, pray. Pray is talking to God. Communicating. And as we talk with God, then that relationship becomes stronger and stronger. The scripture I want to use with the word prayer today is from Mark 13, verse 33. Take ye heed, watch and pray, for ye know not when the time is come. Watch and pray. In another verse it says, watch and pray that you fall not into temptation. Watch and pray. I've heard several talking about Ephesians 6, putting the armor, the full armor of God on lately. And as you get into the verses, it's standing firm. Pray. Pray. Seek God. Spend time with God. Amen? And what are we to seek? He says, seek my face. I want to go to Psalms 27. I want to read verses 7 through 9. Psalms 27, verses 7 through 9. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also upon me, and answer me. When thou sayest, Seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy fa face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. Psalms 27 was a psalm of David. The Bible talks that David was a man after God's own heart. When we seek the face of God, we're seeking his presence. Too many times we go to prayer seeking for those blessings, what he can do for us, wanting, wanting him to do something for us. But seeking his face, seeking his presence, there is a peace, a love, a hope, a joy 
that comes just from being in the presence of God. And I believe those are the times he fills you up with that confidence that you know you can trust him, that you know he is who he says he is, that you know he loves you. He loved you first. He loves you the most. And the Bible says he will love you forever. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. Seek his face. And turn from your wicked ways. Means to repent. Or just get up and turn. Make full circle. Change your life. Change your attitude. Change your thinking. But first repent. Confess those sins. If you have sinned, don't run from God. You're not going to be able to run from God because when you get to where you're going, he's going to be there. Just confess you have sinned. God said he's willing and just to forgive us. I want to use the scripture from Matthew 4, 17 for to turn from your wicked ways or repent. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent. I would challenge you to get in the Bible and look up all the scriptures with the word repent. Yes, in it. I love to do word studies. It just really blesses you. Sometimes it convicts you of sin in your life. But you know what? Again, we can confess it and God will forgive us. Also, I want to use Luke 13, verse 3. I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all like size perish. Except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The scriptures say that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. It also says, whosoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. I pray that you know Jesus as your Lord and Savior. If you do not, just say this prayer, dear Lord Jesus, come into my heart, wash me, cleanse me, set me free. I believe you died on the cross for me. I believe you rose on the third day, and I believe you're coming back one day to take me home. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. Walk with me each day. I thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name, amen. I pray you said that prayer, and if you did, please call the station, and we will be glad to pray with you and rejoice with you. And until next week, God bless. WTJR, licensed to Quincy, Illinois, maintains a public file for public inspection at our studio at 222 North 6th Street in Quincy, Illinois. Hours of our studio location, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Thursday and 9 a.m. to noon on Friday. Hi, I'm Pastor Jerry Jenkins. And